Welcome to my channel and visage. My name is Jimmy and in today's lesson we will discuss the asthma and the COPD treatment algorithm. To better understand the asthma and the COPD treatment algorithm, we will utilize the gym as an analogy. We will first start discussing the overall acronym followed by the treatment algorithm for the maintenance therapy for both asthma and COPD. So for the asthma component, Gina Linz maintains lower five abs. So notice the, the arrow is going from right to left. Each letter of the acronym represents a specific class of medication. For the asthma component, Gina actually stands for Global Initiative for Asthma. She's actually working in the Sigma gym. Uh, Sigma is actually the pivotal clinical trial that approved budesonide plus formoterol, otherwise known as Simbacort, for the use as a rescue inhaler. The reason is because formoterol has a five minute onset action, so it can be used as a rescue inhaler. The lens component is actually the asthma clinical manifestation. So L stands for lung function, I stands for interference with normal, ac normal activity, N stands for nighttime uh, awakening, S stands for the short agonist, beta agonist usage, and then S, the other S stands for the symptoms. So based on the clinical manifestation of these asthma, we will then match the corresponding severity with the treatment algorithm. So say for example, if it's severe, then we move down to the severe chart and we look at what type of therapy there will be on. But for the maintenance therapy, there is an acronym, which is lower five abs. And again, we will be going from right to left based on the severity for the class of medication. S stands for steroids, B stands for beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, which are usually the long form. Uh, A stands for anti-muscarinic, and finally I stands for interleukin-5 receptor antagonist. For the COPD acronym, we start off with the maintenance for dyspnea, which spells out ABS. A for anti-muscarinic, B for beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, which are the long beta-2 adrenergic agonist, and S for steroid. For the maintenance therapy for exacerbation, the acronym spells out BARS. So we're again going from left to right. B for beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, A for anti-muscarinic agonist, R for rifumilas, and finally Z for Zithromax. So the reason why we're using Zithromax is because Zithromax actually blocks pro-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin-6. Interleukin-6 recurs for macrophages, which leads to destruction of elastin, which therefore increases lung compliance. And as we know, increase in lung compliance decreases the ability for the lung to exchange air, which causes further exacerbation for the patient. Bonus clip. So, as one of the many ways to remember one of the many inhalers in the asthma and the COPD, I've created an acronym for the elliptos. Utilizing the different colors, such as primary colors, as well as secondary colors, we can actually remember the elliptos a little bit easier. Say for example, in the primary color, which consists of red, yellow, and blue, we can think of there are two medications that are incorporated in the primary color because they're of importance. So, a nora, which is red, consists of umlocudinium and volantarol. The yellow and the blue consists of volantarol and fluticasone. For the secondary colors, because they're not as important, it consists of one medication. So, we have two colors, which is green and orange. For the green one, we have Incruz, which is umlocudinium, and the orange is Arnuity, as fluticasone. And finally, we have Trilogy. So Trilogy actually has three medications in there. Think of the color black. Black actually absorbs all the different colors, so it actually consists of all the three components of mechanism of action, which consists of umlocudinium, volantarol, as well as fluticasone. Thank you for watching. Please comment below and let me know what other videos you'd like to see next. As always, let's continue to empower a different way to vision success. I'll see you guys in the next one.